now. So welcome everybody. Okay, someone says verbs. No, no. Past perfect. Past perfect, no. Maybe conditional. No, we talked about we've talked about conditionals. I think two sessions ago, two classes ago. Passive active. No. Okay, do you know reported speech? Let me start it. Uh, nope, don't ask it. So, can you please tell me if you can see my screen? A speech, yes, reported a speech. I can see, I can see, yeah. Okay, that's great, all 31 students. So, before we start, let me tell you something. Make sure you are active, okay? The more you interact, the more you will learn. If you just sit there, you will learn nothing, okay? See it, okay, okay, got a teacher, perfect. So, today we're gonna talk about reported speech. First, before we start, does anyone know what reported speech is? Hmm? I have a question. What is reported speech? Do you have any idea, any opinion? Any ideas? Nope. What is regular speech, by the way? Regular speech. Several people are typing, okay? Ah, and he said, she said, okay, yes, but that's some examples. I mean, what is it? Can you can you explain where do we use it, when do we use it, why do we use it, how do we use it? Hmm, is it related? Like types of speech and of speeches is reported speech? I'm serious, okay? Are you for the first time? Okay, that's good, Nazrin. I have to study chemistry, so I won't be able to study here today. I will do next time. Okay, sure, sure. Good luck with your chemistry exam. So, uh -huh, we used it when we tell, uh -huh, when we want to tell what others said. We used it, why pass? When we tell someone what another person said. Uh -huh, now it's getting better. We use it when... We use it when we want to told when you want to tell people about the speech of that is speech of another person. Thanks. The third person explaining the situation between the first and second person. Aha. Uh -huh. We use reported speech, direct speech in writing such as novels, articles, essay and books in general, but on our hands for speech in spoken English. Oh, okay. We want to describe object. No, object no. I just copied from your PDF. Yeah, actually, the sentence actually looks very similar. So, okay. I think I wrote that. But anyway, when we talk about another person that isn't currently in the conversation, mm -hmm, okay, but not necessarily. But let's look look at here. Let's look at my screen. So, reported speech is a grammar topic which reports what someone else is said or written. Not just said. Maybe he wrote something. It has two main types, direct speech and indirect speech. Today we're gonna focus on, wait, indirect, indirect speech, okay? We will just have, take a glance at direct speech. So when do we use reported speech? We use it, the direct one, in writing such as novels, articles, essay, and books in general. But on the other hand, we use reported speech, indirect speech, in spoken English and our daily conversation, just like what our friends said. Passive, no, no, no. Also, 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 if you are interested to have this PDF, it's on my website for free. Let me just send you. Yes, you can head over to my website actually PDFs tab and you can download this PDF and many more PDFs anytime I mean they could be examples but what is the definition of it that's a definition of it what our friend Sanji sent is a definition when you we have direct speech in writings essays novels and we try to say or report what someone else had said okay that's the purpose of that so let's talk about Direct speech, when we directly, someone said direct, someone said direct, both of them are correct. When we directly quote what someone else has said or written, 
We use proper punctuation. Uh -huh. Punctuation matters in direct speech. For example, look at the look at here. Alice said, "I can help you." That's nice. Alice said, "Comma." We have quotation marks. I can help you. Jack told me we're going to Italy now. Hmm? Mostly, you see this actually these kind of sentences, books, novels, essays, sentences are actually written. So, well, for example, like this, because we cannot say in real world, Alice said, comma, quotation, we normally don't say something like, and if I say, Alice said, I can help you, because I'm saying I, maybe you're confused, hmm? you get confused, okay, you're saying I, what about Alice, hmm? you're talking about yourself, because of that, we change, we make some changes to our sentences, let's talk about indirect speech. In indirect speech, we reinterpret, means to interpret again. If you don't know the meaning of interpret, it means to, to say something with your own opinions, based on your own opinions. So we reinterpret the quotation and state it in our words. Uh -huh. Examples, Alice said, I can help you. Okay, thank you, Alice. Alice said that he could help me. Maybe you're wondering, Alice is a girl. I don't know. I thought that's a boy, so I wrote he. So it doesn't matter he or she. Alice said that he or she could help me. Uh huh. There is no sign of, I don't know, commas, columns, quotations, nothing. And we change I to he or she. Can became could help help. You became me. Uh huh. So we are changing something in this part. Let me also see if you have any question, please type it down. And for those who've just joined, make sure you interact. The more you interact, the more you will learn, okay? That's like the golden rule. What if someone else had done something? What if we talk about someone else's action? Okay, action is okay. Took too long to respond. The website isn't loading for me. Um, I agree. Hi, same here. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So... I was saying, Jack told me we are going to Italy. Uh -huh. We, so we should change it to they, are where we will talk about all of them to Italy. Then, uh -huh. so look at here now. Then, we, they, are going. They're going. Uh -huh. These are the things. So we have we call it the three step structure because it has three steps. I actually made it myself. So first of all, you should change the pronouns to reflect the new speaker. For example, you say I, Sarah said, I am going to the store. Actually, I, I mean me, Nima Far, I'm not going to the store for sure. Sarah is going or was going. So I want to change it so it would be easier for you to understand. Sarah said that she was going to the store. Sarah said that she was, we change am, so the past form, we will see, then we use it for she. She was going to the store. So we change pronouns. Pronouns, not just I. Here we have I can help you. So you can help me. Any kind of pronouns. Change the verb tense to reflect the new speaker's point. We call it backshift or backshifting. You know, shift, you shift back. It means you go one tense back. We will talk about it. She said... I will go to the party. She said that she would go to the party. Mostly you know that. You say, will, would, can, could, I don't know, may, might, shall, should. So this is like this for modal verbs. Change any time or place. Let me be actually easy with you. Adverbs. You can change anything about adverbs like time, place, references to reflect the new context. For example, he said, I am here at the moment. So, so is he here or no? He's there. Okay, because I'm in another location, huh? I changed my location. I'm not at the same place that he actually was. So I should say, he said that he was there at that moment or the moment. Okay? The web doesn't exist. No, it does exist. Do you make this? Yes, yes, by myself. I don't think I understand. I change to he, but what are the rules that the state we can do it with 100% and when and where? 
I uh, will talk about all of them actually in depth. Right now, I'm just trying to introduce you the topic. So wait for it. So technically, the structure change from present can be passed. Beg your pardon if my question. No, no, no. It's okay. It's not hard to digest at all. So yes, we go one tense back. So if you are talking about present simple, you should make it past simple. We go one tense back. We will see. Just, just hold on. So any more question? Yes. Do you make these PDFs by yourself? Ah, uh, yes, I do. Got it. She okay. Good. Basic example. She said that she loved pizza. He told me that he couldn't come to the party that night. He mentioned that he didn't like horror movies. David said that he was studying English. Okay. So, uh huh. Now we're gonna. Talk about it. Let's compare the differences in the structure between direct and indirect speech by looking into the table below. So Alice said, we want to change it. We remove comma. We put that. And this is optional. It's on you. You can either use that or you can completely remove it, omit it. So Alice said, or Alice said that I, okay, Alice is a boy or girl. Let's say he's a boy. So we use he. Hmm? Can. What is the past of can? You know that. Could. Help the same. You. Okay, Alice, I can help you. So he means he could help me, right? Now, it's not right now then. We say right then. Okay? We omit. Omit means delete. The comma and the apostrophes. As you can see, we don't use commas and quotation marks when turning direct into indirect. So don't use any kind of punctuation, but period. Pronouns, aha, uh -huh. now maybe get better. We change the pronouns to reflect the speaker. If the speaker is a man, we use he or his name. If the speaker is a woman, we use she or her name. If there is a group of speakers, we use they or their names. For example, we are living. Okay, who are living? V. Okay, now imagine. I'm looking at this topic in another point of view. So I see a group of people who are living. So they, they said that they were living. We go one tense back. Are, were, is, was. Sarah said, I don't like soccer. Okay, who doesn't like soccer? Sarah. Sarah is a man or woman. Definitely woman. So Sarah said that she, don't. We have present simple. Make it past simple. She didn't like soccer. Jack said, let me check the chat before Jack. Reported speed, second reported speed. What of the two sentences reported? What? First sentence reported speech. Oh, which sentences? In the sentence, um, they said they were leaving. Do all of the people have to say or the majority of it? Well, it's actually it's a group of people. If they are, for example, for example, your school take you on something like a tour or something like this, huh? Then they say, okay, we are going, for example, I don't know, to the museum. You technically you're saying that group. It doesn't matter at all whether all of them agree or not. Actually, that's not the point. The point is that a group of people are doing something. The organization ordered all the members to stay for a while. Mm -hmm. What is the topic? Uh, report to the speech, Nick. So, note, sometimes a person has said something about another person. And we, as a third person, want to report it to another person, you know? Therefore, the speaker in the reported clauses and that in reporting clauses are not always the same. Reported clause is like here. This is reported clause. Sarah said th these are reported clause or here. And we have reporting clause, which is the actual the main frame, main thing. For example, she or didn't like soccer. The green is reporting. Sometimes the speaker here is not the same. For example, we have Sarah and we have she here. But I can here say that, um, for example, Jack is talking about Grace, another person. So Jack said that Grace was always late or she was always late. Okay? Sometimes it can be something else. Shouldn't necessarily be the same. Backshift. With this part, you will understand everything. 
Back shift means shift back. We go one tenth back when we want to report an indirect speech. So can becomes could. If you have could, you keep it. Shall, should, may, might, will, would, have to or has to, past of it, had to, must, must, ought to, ought to. Do, wait, wait, what's the meaning of ought to? Can you tell me the meaning of ought to? But they said is inaccurate then, I think. We could just say they agree to leave. Aha, uh -huh. they agree to leave. Yeah, you can use different kind of verbs instead of say. Okay, now we are looking at it as a, actually in a simple form. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So I have a question. What's the meaning of ought to? Ought to. Ought to much similar with should. Uh, any other students here? Ought to. For example, we ought to study. What does it mean? Suggestion. Used to show when it's necessary or would be a good thing to perform the activity referred by the following verb. Uh -huh. So should. We can say, actually we can use should. Ought to like meant to be doing something. Ought to can be used as should. It's like one should do for oneself. Yeah, oneself. Should. Present simple. Aha, uh -huh. now about the tenses. The word about modal verbs. Now we go with tenses. If you have present simple, you make it past simple. If it is present simple continuous, you make it past simple continuous. And past simple becomes past perfect. Okay? Let me tell you something. First, let me say it. present perfect, past perfect. Continuous, continue, doesn't matter. Future tenses, aha, uh -huh. for will, just change will with would. Anything. Future perfect, continuous, continuous, future simple, simple, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Just change will with would. That's it. Am, um, is becomes was, then had been, are, where, has been, have been, and had been. So let me tell you this. We have four actually main things here. Let me write it in blue. So we have we have simple, for example, past simple, fu past simple, future simple, present simple. Hmm? We have simple continuous, C-O-N is like continuous. We have perfect, like present perfect, past perfect, and we have perfect continuous. Correct me if I'm mistaken. So here you have, for example, I'm just talking about present and past here past present why not future because here replace will with food very easy so when you have <clears throat> simple for example present simple you make it past simple very easy when you have simple continuous i am playing he said that he was playing perfect i have seen you past perfect i had he for example he had seen you Perfect continuous, I have been playing soccer. He said that he had been playing soccer. Very easy. But what if you have passed? What if your sentence is, I played soccer? Hmm? For example, I played soccer. So you have past simple. Pastor than past simple, we have past perfect. So you just said past perfect. What if you have past perfect? What if you say, I, for example, he had done something, for example. There is nothing faster than this, so we just keep it, copy, paste, okay? Did you get it? So, so we are using said as an implication for agreement rather than them actually saying. But if we are implying something, we are assuming other person also thinks that, but I don't think most people would think that. So the meaning could become inaccurate for what other person especially. Yes, yes. So, for now, okay, you said you got it. So, I will write a sentence. I want you to, to make it indirect. For example, Jack said, I am playing basketball. Everybody, please actually make this sentence indirect change it to indirect everybody in this class the more you interact the more you will learn if you just sit there you will learn nothing i suggest you leave if you don't want to interact 
So, Jack said, I am playing basketball. Jack said that he was playing basketball. Neem, okay, Neem or Jack, doesn't matter. Said, he played basketball. No, Sanji, I am. Look at the board. I am. We have present simple continuous. Past simple continuous. Present, yes, I am playing. Jack said he is playing. He is now. Change it. Back shifting. He was playing. Very good. Wahaha. Phil, uh, Phillips. Jack said he was playing basketball. Very good. He was playing. Aha, uh -huh, you fixed that. Oh, he's present. Yeah. Jack said that he was playing basketball. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Mooney. X1000SA. That took me a while. Thanks. Okay, sure. Jack plays. No. Okay, why? Why, why do you write Jack plays basketball? Jack is playing basketball. You make it past tense. So Jack was playing basketball. He was playing basketball. Basketball, well, no, basketball. Okay? That was nice. Next one. For example, for example, David said, I will For example, I will What about this? Jack told that. Mm -hmm. David said, I will watch the movie later. For example, what's what's the news movie? For example, what a Barbie, something like this. Okay, I said, okay, I will watch it later. David said, I, no, 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 not I. He, uh -huh, he would watch the movie later. Perfect. David said that he, there is no need for capital H here, would watch the that movie mm, there is no need for that event. You know why? Because we didn't say this movie. I thought I will watch the movie. So we both know what movie. So you don't need to change it. David said that he would watch the movie later. Uh-huh. Very good. Very good. All the students. But for Jack's sentence, when, what if he's still playing while we are saying, aha, uh -huh, this is a good question. I'm new to Discord. Despite the fact that you are new to Discord, but you ask good questions. We will see. Just wait, I have a special section asking, actually answering your question. Yes. I would watch movie now. Okay, why now, B2? Why now? I said later. Uh-huh, thank you, thank you. Watch the movie later. Perfect. Okay, let me go with another one. Another one. Mm. For example, tell me a name. Let's go with... David said that he would watch the movie later. Very good. Let's go with Morrow, for example. Morrow said... I, I have been learning or studying, I've been studying English, for example, since 2018. Let's go with this one. Morrow said, Morrow said, I've been studying English since 2018. Okay, you want to change it to internet. Morrow said he had been Studying in a uh -huh, short form since 2018. Okay, that's good. Wahaha, very good. Morrow said he had been learning English or studying English since 2018. Uh huh, very good, very good. He had been B double E N. Okay, he had been very good. Mari Morrow said that I had no, I know. I'm talking about Morrow. So he is it he? I think it's he. So he had been studying English. Mara said he had been studying English since very good. Yeah, so, so Mara has just reported his sentence. Very good. Perfect, perfect. And the last one, the last one. I will use, who I will use again, Jack. Jack said, I had been washing my car before this it has actually we have more of this but just this part I had been washing my car blah 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 Jack said he had been washing a car before a noon before a noon no before noon something else but a noon no Jack said that he had been aha uh -huh. so the point is we use he had been that's the point very good interactive class nice so we have had been, we have past perfect. Nothing is faster than past perfect. Okay, it's like a dead end. 
That's fine. Repeat it. Hmm? Very good. I love that. So, now let's talk about adverbs. Hmm? Time or place. We change the adverbs so as to, which means in order to. Reflect the appropriate report. Okay, I said, for example, I'm playing soccer here. Hmm? For example, two hours later, I am I still there? No, I'm somewhere else. And you are reporting this to your friend at a school. I was at the soccer field. Now you are at a school. You cannot say here, there. We change the ad the adverbs here, there, this, that, these, those, now, then, and you can say right now, right then. Tonight, uh -huh, we say that night, because it's actually over. Yesterday, the day before. Tomorrow, the next day. But, this is the question that I'm new to this school asked me. If the time or place has happened in the same time or place that you are reporting, for example, he's still playing or you have just said something, you can ignore this part, forget this part. And you can also ignore back shifting. You can just say it with the same structure. Let's give an instance. For example, right now it's Monday, 5 p.m. For example, Alice called, for example, it says, Sorry, I cannot come to the party tonight or send me, for example, a voice message. Okay, now I'm Jack. I'm going to tell David. I say, hey, David, Alice said that she can't come to the party tonight. It's on me. If I want to look more formal, couldn't. Hmm? If it's just casual and formal, cannot come to the party tonight. So I don't even need to change the verb, the tense. Okay? And uh, actually adverbs, yes. Because he said, I cannot come to the party tonight. I am still talking about Monday. We are still on Monday. So tonight. You will only change it when you are in another situation. Another, actually, time, place, anything. But why need? Uh, what do you mean, why need? Jack said... Jack said that he had been washing his car. Okay. Is that right? Which one? Jack said that he had need. He had need? No. Why need? Why do you say need? No, 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 no. He had been, not he had need. Okay, so now you know it. I want you to make some sentences for yourself. Write the direct, then change it to indirect and send me both of them. Come on, let's do it. Write. For example, one in di direct sentence, like for example, like me, Jack said, comma, I will go there. And say indirect and write it and send me in one message. Let's do it all together. I think he means why do we need, why do you even need indirect sentences? We can just use, no, no, okay. I'm talking to you. I'm new to this school. I say, yeah, Jack told me I will go there. I said, okay, I will go there or Jack will go there. Hmm? It's confusing. It's confusing. Because I say, Jack told me I will go to the party tonight. What are you talking about? Jack said you are going? No. Jack said he was going. Yes, in written English, in for example, when we write something, of course, we can use in, we can use direct. But in speaking, not. So uh, something like wah ha ha. Let's let's make something like wa ha ha. So, Felix said, I will go to the party tonight. Mm -hmm. Felix said that he will go to the party tonight. Aha, uh -huh. it's still in the same day. What if it's past? Hey, teacher, can you explain to me what are you talking about? Okay, I'm talking about reported speech. That night. If it's actually past someone, if you are in another day. Hmm? For example, the night finished, the party is over. I'm saying yes, that night. But what if I'm still in the party? I'm talking about before the actually the actually the end part of the party. Felix said that he would go to the party tonight. Okay. As the teacher said, their speech is used more in books. Very good. Why the reason behind this money is that okay, imagine I say Jack told me I will go to Italy tonight 
said, okay, Jack said you are going. No, Jack said he was going. It's a bit confusing. That's the reason. Aha. Uh -huh. He, he might confuse leaving time before speaking of the period and the quotation. Mm, let me see me do this. Oh, I see. The other person may not know when the... Uh -huh, very good, exactly. Because you're speaking, you're saying many sentences. And of course, the person may, be, may get confused. Felix said that he would go to the party that night. Okay, several people are writing. Okay, let's wait for all several people who are writing. So make sure you are interacting. Teacher... Will to wood homework. What? Will to wood homework. What do you mean? Will to wood homework. We don't have homework. Okay, several people. After this part, we will talk about questions with them. Like he could think of Jack said as one sentence and I am as another sentence. I think of it as Jack said I am. Very good. Perfect. In English, we say, now you're talking. In English, we have an idiom, expression. We say, now you're talking. It means, aha, uh -huh, now you are right. So, I'm new to Discord. Now you're talking. Dan said, I can do it now. Dan said that he could do it then. Perfect. Tithe or teeth. Tithe, I think. Very good. Hey, teacher. When you have a Saturday class, I think I miss... Uh, first of all, don't worry, Zoo. I'm recording this kind of class every classes are being recorded so you will see it on my youtube channel like tomorrow but we started like 34 minutes ago actually it's like the half of the class the second half first you say half our ceo said we need to deviate our efforts to achieve the goal so that they needed uh-huh they asked to yes need needed very good there will be homework no, 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 we don't have homework. Why is your sentence complicated? It's not complicated, you know. He's saying he's actually made the actually is okay to me. Maybe the person misunderstand the clauses and he thinks as two sentences. It means like Jack told me to go to Italy. Something like this. Hey guys, hello. Teacher, I'm new in this club. Could you please share your YouTube channel with me? Okay, sure. Why not? Let me send you my here. Copy text. And my website. You can download the PDFs on my website for free. English with neofer.com slash PDF. Here. So. May someone help me? Okay. We are in which point? In what point? Uh, report to the speech. I don't know. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, very good. Let's continue. Now, we're talking about questions. Hmm? We learned how to report sentences. What about questions, huh? For example, I ask a question and say, and ask you a question. And you go home. You say, okay, for example, Jack, David, father, mother, I don't know. Someone's asked me that question. There are two ways to ask a question. You know that. We either use WH or we use auxiliary verbs. Do you play soccer? Are you a doctor? Or where are you from? What are you doing? What do you do? Who is he? And something like this. Let's talk about WH question. Okay. We simply make the question a statement. For example, what are you doing? What? Are you doing? This is a sentence. Everybody in the chat, can you please make it a statement? Mostly we use them as noun clauses, but I don't want to actually bring it up. But just tell me, make it a statement. Thank you guys for reporting the speech. Yeah, uh huh. I think if you could specify what exact part you don't get, uh huh. Yeah, that would be good. We call it peer feedback. That would be great. Thank you, sir. Maria, sorry, I can't join the meeting. Maria said that she couldn't join the meeting. Of course, Yulit. Perfect. Thank you, Yulit. Mom said you have to go to school with your brother. Me. Hey, brother. Mom said which we... Mom said we... No, we don't say which. Mom said we had to go to school. 
or we have to go to school because you're talking you're just saying it I'm studying English right now with you thank you Super Sanji he asked what I was doing uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh, very good he asked thank you what what was I know what I was hmm so the the sentence for Sanji asked no no wait wait don't make sentences let me just tell you what are you doing we said what you are doing what you are doing is not good for example what you are doing we make it a statement hmm? now use back shifting what you were are becomes were so what you were doing so we change you to i he asked me what i were doing he asked me what i were doing it means this what are you doing he asked me he asked me we don't use we don't use that here he asked me what i were doing very simple so for example where are you from so where you are from we change verb and subject where you are from so you becomes he or for example me so he asked me so the subject is i what i was from hmm? where sorry he asked me where i was from where are you from he asked me where i was from what is your job so what your job is he asked me your becomes my he asked me what my job was how are you he asked me how i was why didn't you join us he asked me why i hadn't mm -hmm. So we change it. Why you didn't join us? Why you hadn't? You becomes I. So he asked me why I hadn't joined them. When are you going to leave? He asked me when I was going to leave. Okay. Now, for example, for example, uh, mm, let me read. Noted. Okay, thank you. He asked me what I were doing. Yes. Actually what i was doing but what i were doing both of them he learned this from 10th grade i wanna relearn it uh-huh okay okay good oh, i was wrong so mom what are you doing today i were doing homework no what are you doing that's the answer i'm saying you want to report the question not the answer we don't care about the answer can i say for example if i am in a call and i report a question to someone else this He's asking me what I was doing. Uh -huh, yes, he's asking me. Yes, if you're on a call with someone, you can say he's asking me. He's asking me what I was doing. Exactly. Very good. Fair rose. I think when we speak, uh, yeah. Papa, what are you studying? What are you studying? He asked me what I wear. Thank you, Zoo. Okay, okay, it's correct. Which one? A stranger asked me where I should go. Where should I go? Question. Question. Where should I go? A stranger asked me where he should go. Yes. Assume you didn't do homework. Why are you talking about homework? We don't have homework. So, now I will write something. I want you to change it. For example. Where do you live? For example, Jack said. Where do you live? This is a question. Jack said. Where do you live? Where I live. No, no. Make the sentence. Jack said where. Or you can say asked. Better. Let me edit it. We normally use asked, not said, for questions. Jack asked me where did I live? No, where I lived. Uh huh. Very good. Uh -huh. You lit. Jack said. Mm, Jack asked me, where did I live? No, where I lived. We don't make it a question. It has to be a sentence. Mom, what are you doing? She asked me what I were doing. Thank you, Nick. Very good. Spicy said, ah. Jack asked where I were lived. Where I were lived? Is it passive? Price. Hello, Price. Welcome. Thank you for your rose. Jack asked me where I live. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Mom asked what I were doing. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Oh, okay. 
Jack asked me where I live. Thank you, Yoli. I live in the Milky Way galaxy. Mm. Genius with for four. Okay. So next one. Auxiliary verbs. Means anything except WH. Are you a doctor? Do you play soccer? I don't know. Have you ever been? Had you clothes? Whatever. So we use if or whether hmm, in these types. If or whether. Are you a doctor? Replace subject and verb. You are a doctor. He asked me if or whether I was a doctor. Hmm? We just, instead of saying WH, we use if or where. If or whether. Do you play basketball? So it means you, we don't, we don't say you do play basketball. We say, but not in this case. You play basketball. He asked me if uh -huh, I played basketball. Present simple, past simple. Is she okay? She asked if she was okay. She is okay. She was okay. Have you ever been to Italy? He asked me if I had ever been to Italy. Present perfect, past perfect. Had you closed the door before getting before you got in the car? She asked me if I had closed the door before getting in the car. Can you help me? He asked me if I could help him. Mm -hmm. So, now let me do it. Teacher, what if the sentence uh, you're writing? Jack asked, where do you live? Jack asked me where I live. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Nice to see you too. He asked me whether I could help him or not. Uh -huh, yeah, whether or not is okay. Is whether, yes, yes, yes. Whether is the formal form of if. Yes, we can say that. Why I hear nothing from the speaker? Really? I don't know. Check your output. So you guys can hear me, right? So, oh, you mean using E for over there. I was gone at the time. Okay, yes, welcome back. What if the sentence, do you... Do you play? We don't say Senji. We don't have do you playing. Do you play basketball? He asked me whether I played basketball. Do you? We don't say do you playing. Are you playing or do you play? If whether. It's okay. Very good. But whether is hard for me. Okay, you can use if. But I don't know. No, no, they can hear you. Sarah, your website is not working. Are you sure? Uh huh, uh huh. Wait, wait, wait. I know the reason. Well, actually, some countries are banned by WordPress, not me. WordPress has banned some countries. I don't know why. So you need to use VPN or proxy. If you have VPN proxy, you can use some countries are banned by WordPress, not by me. I have the same problem. VPN, VPN proxy, like DNS, something, you know. No, no, I'm sure my country isn't banned. Really? Because my, my website is working. I'm sure about that. Can I share the PDF here? Yes, if you want, share it. Why not? Yeah, that's the PDF. Yes, yes, here, Mooney. Just one message below, beneath. Okay, let's continue. Anyway. So, I want to write this sentence and you answer me. I hear just the music. Really? So, look at this. Here, I want to say... Mm, They make it hard. Has she finished her homework? This is my question. Has she finished her homework? How do you say? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Sanji. So, he has, has she finished her homework? He asked, oh no, that weather means like it's, the weather is sunny, rainy, foggy. Weather, we write it some, something else. W-H-E-T-H-E-R. 
whether uh -huh, she had. They asked whether she had finished her homework. Yes, whether she had finished her homework. He asked me if she had finished her homework. Very good. If she had, had, had finished tomorrow. Mm, he asked if she had finished her homework. Very good. Yes, perfect. Whether we write, we write it like this, guys. Whether. She asked me if she had finished her homework. Okay. Imperatives. Uh -huh, it's lovely. So, imperatives mean like order someone, command someone. Do your homework. Close the door. I don't know. Turn off the TV. Something like this. So, do your homework. We normally use told. Let me highlight it here for you. Pronoun told me. Let me say told me. And mostly, after told, we need to use actually an object pronoun. He told me. He told him. We don't say he told. Just alone. It's better to use it. So, do your homework. He told me. We use to. To do my homework. We don't use backshifting at all. No backshifting. Forget backshifting for this. He told me to do my homework. Get out now. He told me to get out then. What well, we change adverbs? Uh huh. What about negative? Do not smoke. He told me not to. Not first. He told me not to smoke. To not smoke, we don't have. Not to smoke. So do your homework. He told me to do my homework. Do not smoke or don't smoke. He told me not to smoke. Let me write some examples. You ask for me. For future, no, no, imperative. Imperative. Imperative means command. Now with then. Then is like past, not future. It gets complicated. Oh, really? Umar. Welcome, Umar. It's English with newhart.com. You said, oh, really? Ah, wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. My bad. My bad. My bad. English with. Check this one. English with new heart. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot to write with. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Firstly, I used to think grammar was un unnecessary, but now I think about it. Yes, yes, the reason. Command, very good. Thank you, Mooney. You also react. My bad, I'm so sorry. Uh, who sent me? Bailey, I'm so sorry. Guys, wrong thing. Has she finished her homework? He asked me whether she had finished her homework. Thank you. Lovely. So, thank you very much, teacher. No worries. Okay. Now, please tell me. Do not park here. Do not park here. Let me also use exclamation mark. Or don't park here. doesn't matter. He told me not to park there. There. Or if you are at the same place here, yes. Very good. The point is not to. We say not to. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. What about this? Turn off the TV. Turn off the TV. He told me to turn off the TV. Mm -hmm. Or ordered me. Ordered me. Commanded me. He told me not to off TV. No, very, where is your verb? He told me to turn. Aha, uh -huh, and here, let me see if anyone says to turn off the TV, to turn off. Mm. Teach was. Uh, imperative is command, order. I say go out, turn off your phone, study, something like this. No, then no, I never said now, Bailey. When we, when we don't have now, you cannot say then. What about this one? He told me to turn the TV off. What about this one? Is it, is it correct to... I think so. Very good. Yeah. He told me to turn the TV off. You can also say like this. 
you put the object between your phrase, your preposition and your main verb. Mm, it's not about formal, I guess. Yeah, it is. Okay, good. So, next one, suggestion. The last part we have, suggestion. Okay, if you want to suggest someone or suggest, American, suggest someone, something about something. So, we use let's. For example, let's go to the park. This is my sentence. Let's go to the park. He suggested that we go to the park. Forget backshifting, no tense, no tense changing. He suggested, we use suggested, actually mostly suggested. He suggested that we go to the park. Let's no, no, let's not, my bad. Let's not play outside. He suggested that we not play outside. If you're wondering why not, we say we don't because of this. Subjunctive mood. Whenever you learn this, you will understand the reason. He suggested that we not play outside. For example, he suggested that he drink water. Hmm? No, not drinks. Anyway, let's go now. He suggested that we go then. Hmm? We use this for suggestion. For example, for example, you tell me. You tell me. You tell me what? For example... Let's play RDR2 means Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's play RDR2. He suggested that we play, thank you, Tive, very good. Yeah, yeah, mind you. He suggested that we play RDR2, very good, very good. What about this? Let's. Let's not go to the movies. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's not go to the movie. The movies mean like cinema. Cinema, British, the movies, American. He suggested that we not go. Perfect. No, shouldn't. No, no, no. Zoo, zoo, zoo. Shouldn't. No. We not. He suggested not to go. No, that's something else. He suggested that we not go to the movies. Uh -huh. Very good. So you know, you learned it perfectly. Let's have some tips, then we can go home. Advanced tip. Uh -huh. So, does anyone here know inversion? Do you know inversion? Ooh, a lot of messages. That's nice. So, inversion. Nope. Yes, inversion is opposite word of reverse. Uh, I, I mean the grammar topic. He suggested not. He suggested not to go, or he suggested that we not go. So inversion, you will learn. Actually, I actually I think I taught inversion in this class. Maybe I can actually teach it again. But for example, never do I play soccer. Hmm? This is the sentence. If you have inversion, first of all, you changed it to a normal sentence. I never play soccer. Then you change to backshifting. He, she said that she never played soccer. For more information. When we invert sentences into indirect, we'd be aware, we advise that you need to change those into normal sentences first. This was for advanced students. It's okay if you didn't understand. Example, yeah, there are like 20, 30, yes, 30 actually examples here. You can just read it and enjoy it. How? You can go to my website, englishwithnimofer.com. Head over to the PDFs page, but make sure you check all pages there. And download, download the PDF there. Oh, it said 93, that's too old. So now we have 1,060, I think. So yes, English with Nimover.com. And the video will be on YouTube for like two days. No, on Sunday. On Sunday I will try to post it on Sunday. Wow, haha, -ha, okay. Uh-huh, here, yeah, thank you. That one Sanji sent. 
So, thank you everybody. Actually, our class is over. If you have any question, please ask me. Otherwise, let's call it a day. It means let's take a break. TQ means thank you. Thank you for the class. I just joined. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, uh, Kamora. I will I will upload it on, on YouTube. You can watch it tomorrow. It's okay. Thank you for the class. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Price. Wahaha. Wahaha. You did great today. Al Aldian Darwin. Thank you. Thank you for the class teacher. Thank you, Yoli. You did great. Thanks. I subscribe. Thank you very much, Zoo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the knowledge. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Nick. Super Senji. Ah, you did great. You helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You're welcome. So if you have any questions, please ask me. Or you can send me a message on Discord if you have any questions. Thank you for this fantastic class, sir. You're welcome, Zoo. Vedar Kiwi. It's a kind of fruit, I think, Kiwi. And, and actually an animal, I think. Oh, you're welcome. So I will end the class in like one minute. What's your website again? Let me send it for you. That's my website. Englishwithnemofire.com You can go to the PDFs page, but check other pages too. Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Thanks, teacher. So everybody have a good day. You, ha you will have access to the actually... The video on my YouTube I think tomorrow it's nice to interact online yeah why not I think when there's anything like you need to use this at this case writing why using the opposite is wrong could be more better mm, let me read again you need to use this at this case okay mm, okay okay I didn't understand your sentence actually if you like, you can you can actually elaborate, explain me more on DMs. Then to will next, aha, uh -huh, every Saturday, every, every Saturday, the same time. Okay, Saturdays. Note, when we turn immersion into sentences, into, uh -huh, be aware. Aha, uh -huh, why not? Aha, uh -huh, because, aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, why not? Because we don't, we don't have reported a speech with inversion. The combination doesn't exist. We cannot say he said that never she had been something like this. Yes, yeah, sometimes you can say, for example, she told me never had she played soccer. Never did she play soccer. Of course, yes, yes. But because that would be too confusing, too confusing, I said, okay, change it back, then say. But if you are advanced enough to do it, of course, you can say that she told me never did she play soccer. Why not? You can say that. Okay. Okay, thank you. Two people writing, then we can go home. Sue. So, teacher, any book you suggest for beginners? Beginners, yes. Uh, you can try, first of all, YouTube. That's very that's great. And English in use. Sorry, grammar. <laughs> grammar in use. For beginners, you can download elementary and read it. Mm hmm yes, yeah. Murphy, yes, Raymond Murphy with you. Raymond Murphy, yeah. Okay, everybody, have a good day. If you have any more questions, I'm, I'm into Discord. If you want to continue this, let's please send me a message and let's move it there. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day. See you next Saturday.